I'm on my Oracle VirtualBox server and I'm preparing to launch a VM of OpenMandriva LX3 so that I can show you some of the features in this independent distro of Linux. For this demonstration, I'll be running OpenMandriva with 6GB of RAM and a dynamic VDI space of 75GB. This is more than enough for this distro of Linux to function very responsively and it does. While we're waiting for OpenMandriva LX3 to boot up to the logon screen, let me tell you that this distro of Linux is an independent distro which is built on the i686 and x86-64 platform architecture. OpenMandriva originated in France and sports the KDE Plasma desktop. Currently, this Linux distro ranks 132 on distrowatch.org. Now that we are at the logon screen, I'll enter my password associated with my real name linked to my username. After doing this and clicking OK, OpenMandriva LX3 will log me in and begin to stabilize. One of the nice features of OpenMandriva LX3 as a VM is that I did not have to install Oracle VirtualBox Linux editions, nor did I have to go into settings display and change the screen resolution to 1920 by 1080 which is associated with my 1080p widescreen monitor. It just works out of the box. I like that. In a few seconds, the OpenMandriva LX3 desktop will begin to form, and the taskbar will also come up at the bottom of the screen. Out of the box, OpenMandriva LX3 has four workspaces available to the user. I've chosen to keep the original wallpaper for this distro which I think looks quite nice. If we hover over the Network Manager interface in OpenMandriva LX3, we see that the designation for my wired connection is ENP0S3. This designation is made up of the EN part which stands for Ethernet, the P0 segment which stands for port 0, and the S3 portion which corresponds to socket 3. This is unlike a lot of earlier Linux distros that simply called this connection, ETH0. The icons have been arranged in columns rather than rows. This is good since a lot of distros arrange them in rows, which I detest. I'm going to open PC Man FM File Manager. This file manager is a replacement for Dolphin, the default file manager which has security vulnerabilities prompting a replacement app for the Linux desktop from developers and users alike. As you can see, the arrangement of folders in PC Man FM is a standard list of folders, such as documents, pictures, downloads, etc. I prefer PC Man FM File Manager over Dolphin not only because it is more secure, but also because the layout is more to my liking. Next, I'm going to open LibreOffice from the desktop icon. LibreOffice is a full suite of Office applications in Linux and OpenMandriva LX3 has version 6 of LibreOffice available out of the box. Clicking on LibreOffice Writer opens up the word processor application that is all too familiar in Linux these days. You can see from the help, that the version of LibreOffice shipping with OpenMandriva LX3 is version 6.1.2.1. Now, closing LibreOffice and returning to the desktop, let's take a look at the native graphics manipulation application called Krita. Krita is a robust photo and imaging editing software app in Linux which is superior to GIMP in my personal opinion. Krita when opened in full screen mode has many of the features available in GIMP, but I feel that the functionality of Krita has advantages over GIMP. The version of Krita available here is version 4.1.3. Version 4.1.3 of Krita is the latest version that I'm personally aware of for a Linux distribution. OpenMandriva LX3 has the latest application versions for many of its apps in the standard ISO. Next, let's turn our attention to the Firewall application in OpenMandriva LX3 known as Firewall D. This application is not the typical easy firewall configuration application found in Ubuntu and many other Linux distros. Double-clicking on the desktop icon opens to an authentication screen that requires you to enter your credentials for elevated privileges into the firewall. The arrangement of this firewall into zones makes this firewall application a superior one in my opinion. The version of firewall seen here is version 0.5.3. This firewall is very configurable and as I must point out may not be as user-friendly as the simple firewall found in other Linux distros. However, for me, 
This firewall is exceptional and preferred over the simpler firewall apps since it is more granular in nature which gives the user control over the flow of traffic into and out of the local area network. You can click on the website link and this will take you out to the website for Firewall D. This action opens the native web browser, which is Firefox, my favorite web browser. From here, you can learn more about Firewall D and why it is superior to most firewalls found in Linux today. While in Firefox, checking the version that I'm using shows that it is Quantum 62.0.364 bit. This is the latest version as of the installation of this particular VM. Now, let's close Firewall D and return to the Linux desktop. Let's reopen the Firefox web browser and as you can see I have my favorite homepage set up in this web browser which is called Kadaza. This homepage allows you to click on a myriad of available sites under specific categories. Now, what I want to do is surf over to distrowatch.org where we can learn more about the specific distribution that I am showcasing here today, namely, OpenMandriva LX3. Clicking on the quick dial for distrowatch.org will take us out to this website. It is from here that we can go up the distribution pull-down menu and scroll down to the distribution that we want to learn more about. This is OpenMandriva LX3. After reaching the menu item for this distro, click it and this will open the interface from which you can look at things such as the country of origin of the distro, the architecture that it supports, how popular the distro currently is as reflected in the number of hits per day this distro receives, and, finally, by clicking on the link for the homepage for this distro, we will be taken to the homepage of OpenMandriva LX3. Now, Returning to the desktop once again, you can see from the start menu, the category of items that are available and all the sub-items available as well. OpenMandriva LX3 has a plethora of options available under Internet, Office, Graphics, System, and more. This Linux distribution is very stable, customizable, responsive, and scalable. You can easily update the distribution from console the terminal application in OpenMandriva LX3, or you can use the software updater if you don't want to venture to the command line. Under Settings, you can tweak the configuration for look and feel, desktop theme, and much more. For example, I have the look and feel of OpenMandriva LX3 set to Breeze, a very popular look and feel selection and one that I quite like in this Linux distro. There is a wide range of settings as you can see that are available from which to choose. And, finally, we can open the console, the terminal in OpenMandriva LX3, and from here we can run commands that allow us to control many aspects of the distro either using the permissions of the standard user or elevated permissions of root using sudo. To close this Linux distro, all you need to do is click on the application menu and choose to log off the system, then select shutdown, and click OK to power down the VM. Thank you for watching this video and give OpenMandriva LX3 a try either as a VM or bare metal. I think you'll like it. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.